Oliveira's something happened to him, and if you that that's that it's just the birth of his daughter. Really? That when his kid was born, he just changed everything, and he became that, like just this ferocious savage. fucking assassin in there, man. It's there's no it's one dad mode. There's no one that's been like that where you see one version of them that kind of has a little bit of quit in them, yeah. and then a version that is unstoppable. Never. Unsto and he, and never. He, and he fights never. like a Terminator. Because once that's in you, if that quits in you, it's yeah. like oh, you're never gonna be changed. You hear what right. Justin said about him? Justin he said nobody ever hit me that hard. Over the course of almost 30 years, the UFC has featured several outstanding submission fighters, including Hoist Gracie, Frank Shamrock, Demian Maia, and Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. But Charles Oliveira is the one fighter who stands above them all. Charles Oliveira, who competed against Michael Chandler at UFC 262, won the lightweight title, ending the fight by TKO 19 seconds into the second round. Charles has more submission victories than any other UFC fighter. And what's even more amazing is that Oliveira's submissions have come in a number of different ways, having 16 submissions and 19 finishes in UFC history. So now we'll rank Charles Oliveira's top five deadliest submissions in the UFC. Join us as we go into the fights of the King of Finishes. Number five, Charles Oliveira versus Kevin Lee at UFC Fight Night 170 by Guillotine Show. Charles Oliveira has won four matches via guillotine choke overall in the UFC, but his performance against Kevin Lee at UFC Fight Night 170 was the most memorable. But before he accepted the fight against Charles Oliveira, he won different fights, and even the fight against Gregor Gillespie, he won by knockout. He's ready to take anyone down anywhere and anytime. Oliveira threw an absurd number of submissions at Lee in the opening round of the fight, but the Motown Phenom survived and went on to win the second round with his excellent grappling. But in the third round, after a quick exchange of blows, Lee made another attempt to knock Oliveira down. This time, Du Bronx reacted by locking up an extremely tight guillotine choke, and Lee was compelled to submit in a matter of seconds. The choke was so strong though that Lee attempted another takedown after the fight was done since he seemed to pass out shortly after he tapped. After the struggle, Lee was so confused that he had no memory of giving in. Oliveira's 14th tap-out victory in the UFC came against one of his toughest opponents with this shocking submission. Number 4. Charles Oliveira vs. Will Brooks at UFC 210 by Rear Naked Choke Even fighters who aren't particularly recognized for their grappling skills have a tendency to revert to the Rear Naked Choke, which is maybe the most popular submission in UFC history. Thus. It should come as no surprise that Charles Oliveira has four rear naked chokes to his credit in the UFC. At UFC 210, Du Bronx most likely used a rear naked choke on former Bellator lightweight champion Will Brooks. Oliveira began the battle as a significant opponent against Brooks, who had defeated Ross Pearson, Marcin Held, and Michael Chandler. But instead of going Will's way, the fight ended with Oliveira winning impressively. Before the fight, when he was asked about his fight with Charles Oliveira, he said, I don't give him my wrestling background. It's pretty equal to what he does as a jiu-jitsu player, you know, so I think it's going to, what, that's going to be a neutral ground for us. So I think he's going to play out on the feet. We're going to have to see uh, which guy is better with the striking and then try to figure it out from there. Even though Brooks was expected to be the better wrestler, Oliveira twice knocked him out in the early stages of the match. And Oliveira swiftly crawled his way onto Will's back as he made an attempt to escape. Seconds later, Du Bronx slapped on a nasty rear naked choke, and despite Brooks being in a standing position, he was quickly forced to tap out. The finish was reminiscent of one earlier in Oliveira's UFC career against Efrain Escudero, but given the reputation Brooks was bringing into the octagon, this one was even more impressive. So, after the fight here was what Charles had to say. Meu corner começou a gritar, não larga, não larga, vai, acabou, é aí, é aí. E Deus me abençoe mais uma vez. Number 3. Charles Oliveira vs. Darren Elkins at UFC on vs. 2 by Armbar. Given that he's just 31 years old now, it's hard to believe that Charles Oliveira made his UFC debut in August 2010, when he was just 20 years old. While it took Dubronx a long time to completely realize his promise in the cage, his debut demonstrated that he was a very gifted fighter with some great skills. Despite being thrown to the ground early on, Oliveira was confident in the face of Darren Elkins. 
he slapped a triangle choke on the damage seconds after the fight went to the ground. Oliveira tightened it up and caught his opponent's leg to prevent an escape before Elkins could respond. Elkins eventually fell to his side, and Oliveira transitioned from the triangle to a straight armbar, forcing his opponent to tap out quickly. This shocking submission victory not only improved Oliveira's MMA record to 13-0, but it also demonstrated to the rest of the UFC that he was a genuine grappler capable of taping anyone out he faced in the cage. Number 2. Charles Oliveira vs. David Temur at UFC Fight Night 144 by Anaconda Choke. The Anaconda Choke popularized by the great Antonio Rodrigo Noguera during his pride days, is a cousin of sorts to the guillotine choke that is still very uncommon in the UFC. That's why Charles Oliveira has utilized the technique to tap out three different opponents throughout his time with the promotion. While his anaconda choke victories against Jonathan Brookins and Hatsuhiyoki were outstanding, his greatest use of the move came against David Taymor in early 2019. The fight between Oliveira and the Swedish kickboxer was a classic war, with both guys shooting bombs at each other. Dubronx also had a few bad eye pokes, which made things even more difficult for him. But in the second round, after Oliveira shocked Tamor with punches, the latter saw an opening and grabbed it. Dubronx snatched Tamor's neck from a standing posture, then snapped him down and rolled into an anaconda choke, causing Tamor to submit swiftly. The submission was a rare moment of beauty in, in an otherwise brutal battle, and it ranks as Dubronx's second best tap out win in UFC history. Now, you won't believe what's coming. Number 1 Charles Oliveira vs. Eric Wisely at UFC on Fox 2 by Calf Slicer. Over the years, the UFC has seen a number of uncommon submission grips utilized to tap out opponents. In his debut at 145 pounds in 2012, Charles Oliveira utilized one of the rarest to submit Eric Wisely. A modified calf slicer is a highly nasty submission that may inflict a lot of damage to a fighter's leg, yet is so rare. But Dubronx pulled it off well here, leaving Wisely in anguish despite his fast tap out. The technique began when Oliveira attempted a heel hook, which Wisely successfully rolled out of. He was unable to entirely release his leg, but Oliveira wrapped his own legs around it before bringing him back with a rear waist lock. Wisely even tried a wild fence grab to escape, but it was all in vain. He tapped out in agony, with pain etched on his face, giving Oliveira one of the most memorable submissions in UFC history. Wisely is one of Dubronx's lesser-known opponents, having only fought twice in the UFC. However, because of its uniqueness, this is Charles Oliveira's greatest submission in the UFC. If you like this video, stick around to get more of it. You don't want to miss the next one coming. Stay tuned.